My teacher is an alien. My Teacher is an Alien was written by Bruce Coville and illustrated by Mike Wimmer and was published by Aladdin. This is the first book of the My Teacher series, of which there are three others. It is about Susan Simmons, a sixth grade, P6, student, her friend Peter Thompson and another boy at their school called Duncan Dougal. Every day, Susan is in class with her horrible new teacher, Mr. Smith, who is very strange. One day, she sneaks into his home and discovers that he is actually an alien named Broxholm. My Teacher is an Alien is a chapter book aimed at older primary students or secondary because it's quite scary and gruesome at times. It is an exciting and fast-moving book that keeps you guessing until the end. It explores some interesting science fiction themes like whether there are aliens in the universe, although some people might not be interested in this. This book is about a girl, but it's absolutely suitable for boys and girls. It really doesn't matter who the characters are. I loved this book when I first read it in about 1990. Wow, Mr. O is old. And I loved it this time too. I would describe it as complex, but not difficult. Unlike Captain Underpants or Amy the Amethyst Fairy, where the characters are very simple, in My Teacher is an Alien, you are never sure who is good or bad, or who can help you, and the characters always change as the story goes on. This is true for the whole series too. I can tell you that the things you learn in Book 1 are quite different in Book 4. Although this book is a bit old and set in America, I think it's very easy to follow and the English is not too hard. Here are my ratings. The English is not too hard and the story is not too difficult to follow. There are three other books in this series, although Bruce Covell has written many other series, and they are fairly serious but fantastic. Here's an extract. My thoughts were interrupted when I saw Mr. Smith come out of the building. I waited for a minute or two and then began sneaking along behind him. I tried to stay half a block or so away. Whenever I could, I ducked behind a tree or a bush so he wouldn't spot me. I probably looked pretty weird, but that's one nice thing about being a kid. You can get away with this kind of stuff. Mr. Smith's home was farther away than I had expected. He lived at the edge of town in an old white house with black shutters. The house was set way back from the street. A thick hedge completely surrounded the lot on which it stood. I stood outside the hedge feeling stupid. What did I hope to accomplish by following Mr. Smith? But I was in luck. As I watched from a hole in the hedge, I saw Mr. Smith set his briefcase down on the porch and go inside. Since it was a warm afternoon, I figured he planned to get something to drink, then come back outside to sit on the porch and correct our papers. This was my chance. I scooted through a hole in the hedge and onto the porch. I was working up the nerve to open the briefcase when I heard an unearthly howl. It sounded like someone was trying to put a cat in a blender. Hot as it was, I felt my blood turn to ice. What was going on in there? Had someone attacked Mr. Smith? I wasn't crazy about the man, but I didn't want him to be tortured or anything which is what this sounded like. Should I run for help or go inside? But what kind of help could I get? All I could say was that I had heard a terrible noise. Nobody was yelling for help or anything like that. I didn't think I could get anyone to come. Then it occurred to me that maybe Mr. Smith really was putting a cat in a blender or something awful like that. If so, he certainly shouldn't be teaching our class. I decided to find out.